Hello, hello, and welcome in, or welcome back to Sound Wisdom Tarot. I'm Shannon Rose Scott, and you're tuning in for a love reading regarding your ex. Yes, you are. So this is for you if you are have been in no contact with your ex. This is a reading to help you either find closure or find inspiration to come back together, depending on the situation. So let's see what happened between you, what this relationship was meant to teach you. Thank you, spirit. And what you need to know moving forward. All right, I appreciate you being here. Go ahead and rock that like button. Thank you for subscribing. And let's see, what does the spirit messages have for you today regarding your ex, regarding your no contact situation? So spirit guides, high divine intergalactical beings and angel guides, please help me connect to the spirit guides of my collective tuning in for clarification, inspiration, and healing from this past love relationship regarding their ex. Let's begin with the major themes, please. Two cards already popped out. Thank you, spirit. Is there anything more? Thank you. Okay. Mm. Okay, wow. So the first cards that came out were the sword and the rose, meaning clarity, truth, recon re revelation. Sorry. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So the truth is your power. The truth, that highest vibration of the rose, is that sword of truth. So getting clarity on the situation will help protect you. But you also have clock, meaning needing time. Okay, because it takes time. It takes time to heal. Okay, right now you're in time with the process of healing, with cycles, with progress. It takes time for this truth to come out. The truth will be revealed at its perfect timing. Then the next card that came out was coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. Yeah. Endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. So right now you're in the timing of this ending, of this change. At this ending, a new beginning. And then, yeah, we have acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Yeah, you're in no contact. Abandonment. That's been a theme in this relationship. You also had the chaser and wedding rings. The chaser. Oh, and I suddenly lost a bit of my voice. You may have felt like that with that silent treatment, right? That you couldn't say what you needed to say. You weren't able to speak your truth. Or you had difficulty speaking your truth. One of you was a chaser in a codependent relationship and you had fear of abandonment. And I feel like because you're the one tuning in, you were perhaps the chaser here. You were chasing after them all the time. And with the wedding rings, like you might have been married or it was at least a soul connection. A soul connection. You might still be married, but in separation right now. You were supposed to have, you were supposed to have this eternal love, this everlasting promise. And yet it's been axed out. Oh, heavy. I'm sorry that this is happening to you. What are the minor themes in this relationship, please, Spirit? What are the minor themes?
the minor themes of this relationship that looks like it's really ended. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, okay. So this was a twin flame as well as a soulmate connection. We're not always meant to stay with our twin flames, but it was a spiritual relationship with spiritual learnings. We also have communication. So it feels like communication, and, and I was having trouble communicating. I feel like communication was a big issue between the two of you. You had different communication styles. We also have texting, phone calls online. So you might have met online. It might have been an only, maybe it was only an online relationship. You might have had to communicate online a lot. And that's why there was communication breakdown because you weren't able to communicate face, face to face. Everything was happening through texts, through messages, maybe some phone calls, but even that isn't the same as face to face communication. And this was part of the breakdown. This was part of what went wrong. For some of for some for some of you, a reminder, this is a, a general reading for the collective, so I try to give as many situations as possible, but don't force things to fit if they didn't fit, okay? Pick and choose what actually resonates for you. That's what these general tarot readings are about, is you tuning into your inner wisdom as you listen and being like, yes, this message is for me, this one is not. Use that sort of truth that you have available to you, collective to tune into the wisdom that's meant for you and leave the other wisdom bits for others that those bits are meant for. But for some of you, your person was communicating with others through texts, through phone calls, through online. And that was also the reason why this broke down. Again, that's not a message for everyone, but some of you might've actually found messages on the phone. And that's why this relationship, that's why you had to stop the pattern. But try to remember it, it takes time to heal. I'm definitely getting the message that this this relationship uh, wasn't meant to con isn't meant to continue. That you are just here for closure. You might have been hoping for something else, but no. This is looking to me like closure is what you're seeking. So let's get a bit of a message. Thank you. Uh, okay. What else? What else, please? Regarding. Our person tuning in, thank you, and this relationship. Hmm. What else? What else, please? What else? Too many, <laughs> too many. One at a time, please, spirit, one at a time. What else does our collective need to know here regarding this past relationship? Thank you. Wow, okay. Yeah. Let's see how they're, before I reveal, how is, how is the X feeling, please? How is the X feeling? I pulled a different deck for your X. How is the ex feeling about this relationship, please? Thank you. Hmm. Wow, okay, I might be, <laughs> I might be changing my mind about this being over. Yeah. Now that I'm seeing what's coming out. 
What else, please? Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, here we go. Collective. I feel like you met your person at a party where there was celebrating, where there was a lot of people. It might have even felt like some sort of like a group connection, but there was like celebration, there was fun. And you view this person as being like fun. You view this person as having a good time of someone you can party with, have a good time with. What you wanted and what you want is equal give and take. You want the six of pentacles. You want equal give and take. You want this to be a balanced relationship. But the energies between you two was like balancing, balancing something, balancing something. Now, there's a bit of a hint at third party stuff going on. Three of Cups and Two of Pentacles. That's kind of like juggling. And too many people here. Too many people part of the party. So you might have been juggling two people. You might have been juggling your... If it wasn't a love situation, if you weren't juggling two loves, you might have been just juggling like your love for them and your career. You might have been juggling like what your friends and family think versus how you felt. You might have been trying to juggle this whole like online connection that you were having with them and, and your regular life. But we have the lovers as like the potential outcome. You still want love with them. You want to choose love. You want this wedding ring connection with them. You want this soul connection, this eternal love, this everlasting promise. Now, how are they showing up? Well, they view you as their two of cups. They view you as their soulmate, as their twin flame. Right here, this two and two, like this, this twin flame says spiritual alignment or things were effortless. Parts of this relationship were effortless, parts of it. What they want is to give you a, their cup of love. They want to be your knight in shining armor. They want to offer you an apology. They want to offer you love. They want to have this, this love ship relationship with you. They want to romance you. They want to have this love too. But what was going on was they were running. Mm, one of you was the chaser, one of you was the runner. And I didn't I say that I thought you were the chaser and here, yeah, they're running away. They ran away from this relationship. They ran away and they chased after a runaway motorbike. I feel like they were scared. Maybe they ran because they were already fear, they, they were fearful of being abandoned. So they ran away before you could abandon them. But they abandoned you. I feel like they broke up with you. They tried to like separate 
they tried to stop old patterns. Maybe they were worried of old patterns resurfacing and they tried to stop it and just get out of there, but they abandoned you. They gave you the silent treatment. But how it ends is with the world. The world is a card. <laughs> of endings and new beginnings. It's like closing out an old cycle in order to begin a new one. The world is also a card of like going out into the world. It could also be the online world again, but it's like it's, it's ending and starting something new. timing. It takes time being in time cycles. Maybe it wasn't the right time before. And they'd really like to start again to have a new beginning to close out what happened with you before and start again. What will happen if these two try to get back together again? Thank you. What will happen if these two try to get back together again? Thank you. One more. What will happen if these two try to get back together again? Thank you. Okay. Wow. What else from their point of view? What will happen if these two try to get back together again? What will happen if these two try to get back together again? What will happen if these two try to get back together again, please? What will happen if these two try to get back? Thank you. Hmm. Ugh. <laughs> Collective. So on your end of it, you view this getting back together as being um, like a, a bit of a dangerous situation, but one that you're open to. You're open to getting back together with your ex. You're wanting it. Even though you realize you could be walking on the edge of a cliff here, but you're ready to, with an open heart, start again. You see it as going successfully. You believe in its potential to go successfully. Like here, we have victory, six of wands being recognized. And you were wanting that equal give and take. Here it's like having that recognition, having it go successfully. And then we have two nines that came out, nine of pentacles and nine of cups. Now these are often the cards of being single, but it's also a card of being like interdependent versus codependent. In the past, one of your themes was this codependent, right? And that's why you chase them. But here it's like being emotionally fulfilled and financially fulfilled on your own. And see, they also view this as having the possibility of being everything they ever wanted. They do think there's potential here for you two to have the four of wands together. This is the 1111 card. This is like the commitment marriage, but they view grief and they're anxious about it. So they're still grieving. 
and they're worried that they're always going to be grieving. I think they view, I think they're worried they can't have this with you, even though it's what they want. They think that they will be, like, they are so worried about the grief that's happened, about the cups that have already been spilt between you. They're having trouble looking at the cups that are still there. Okay, please make it really clear. Should they get back together? Or should they separate and go their own two ways? One card for each, please. Should they get back together or go separate ways? Get back together or go separate ways, please, Spirit. Get back together or go separate ways. Get back together. Get go back. Get back together. What is the card for getting back together, please? What is the card for getting back together, please? Thank you. And for going separate ways. For going separate ways. Anything else? Okay. So what were these? Hmm. Okay, well, here we have six of ones again. If you get back together, there's absolutely a potential for success this time. Of being seen by each other, of understanding each other, of, re of valuing each other. But you got to come at it with a new a new way of being passionate with each other a new you have to have a new start a new passionate start but i love this if you get back together you from the new way it will be successful it can it has the opportunity the potential to be successful if you don't if you go separate ways You'll need to spend a lot of time in reflection, gleaming, gleaning the lessons of this relationship. And that's okay too. I mean, there was a lot here, right? There were patterns, there was abandonment. There was codependency. There was chasing and running away. But time can heal things. And is it now the right time to try again? You need to have clarity and truth. There needs to be change. There needs to be change and growth in order to put the past in the past and in order to start a new beginning. You can't stay focused on what went wrong. You can't keep worrying about the things that could go wrong. You got to start again, but there's a lot of potential here in this connection. You got to communicate. You got to communicate if you want to make this happen. And it may have to start with texts, phone calls online. Maybe you're far apart with that world card, right? But you could be each other's twin flame. You could be each other's soulmate. You could find this independent, independence together, independently emotionally satisfied, financially satisfied. But you have free will and you can choose to instead just learn the lessons from this one and start again with someone new. The choice is yours and theirs. It's two people, right? So what is the advice? What is the advice? What is the advice here for this pairing? 
What is their advice, please, Spirit? What is the advice for this connection? What is the advice, please, for this connection? Thank you. Hmm. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. <laughs> and you begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. You need to get close together. You need to be together. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. Yeah, you actually have to get in the same place is what I'm hearing. You need to come together and talk and be open, be open to the love between you two. Is there any other message, please, Spirit? Any other message, please, coming through? Any other message for these ex-lovers who clearly have a lot of love for each other. You both are viewing each other as your love. Take a chance. Take a chance. And hope. Wow. You got dice. Take a chance. And hope. Like there's... After the storm comes the rainbow. You've already gone through the storm. <laughs> it's time for your rainbow. Have hope and give love a chance. Give it a chance. Roll the dice and try again. What, what have you got to lose? All right. Thank you, Collective, for tuning in. The most important part of any tarot reading is you. A reminder to only pick and choose what actually resonated for you. Don't try to make something fit that doesn't. And a reminder, you do always have free will and choice. So take these messages and discern for yourself what you will follow. I'd really, truly love to hear from you as to how this resonated for you. Drop me a comment in the comments section below. I do respond to all comments, although it can take me a little while at times, a week or two. Uh, but I do respond to comments on YouTube. And if you're not open to sharing a comment, even just sending me an emoji helps me tune in further to your energies for future readings. So please go ahead and thank you, thank you for your likes, for subscribing. Thank you, thank you for your comments. And thank you so much for tuning in. It means so much to me to have your support. And I'm honored to deliver messages to you from your higher self. Until next time, keep tuning in to your higher wisdom. Big love.